Welcome back to Undertale. At the end of the last episode, we got captured. I'm doing air quotes that you can't see. We got captured by Papyrus. Which just meant that we got put into, like, a garage and then we just walked out the door, which was unlocked for some reason. I think maybe we're supposed to go talk to Sans. I'm not quite sure. But before doing any of that, I want to sleep at the inn. I want to permanently increase my max HP. I certainly have the money for it, I think. What do I have? Yeah, I've got 140 gold. I think it's 80 gold to sleep. Let's do it. One night is 80 gold. I'll stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. <laughs> I can't even see the people sleeping next door. That's a big bed. Also, those are some of the strangest sleeping noises I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> also, am I sleeping face down? Who sleeps face down? I'd be worried about suffocating in the night. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. <laughs> oh, and it did increase my max HP. Yeah, I should have done that before. Um, if I do it again, does it increase my max HP again? No way, right? There's no way. Let's see. Uh, let's try it again. Is it just going to do the same thing as before? Looked like I had a great sleep, which is Yeah, it just did the same thing as before. I even got my money back. Oh, but it doesn't increase your HP again. Okay. Fair enough. I also want to buy some more food to eat. Well, now that I have more health, maybe I want to buy something bigger than a bicycle. Maybe I should buy a car. Or maybe a cinnamon bun. Yeah, let's go for a cinnamon bun. Should I buy another cinnamon bun? Mm, yes, I think I should. Goodbye. Let's go see if Sans and Papyrus' house is unlocked. It's locked. Oh. <laughs> uh, in that case, do I just go back to the right? Wait, it's locked from the inside. But didn't I just come out of the inside? I don't understand. That's so strange. I'm just gonna go off to the right again. I'm not gonna meet Papyrus again, am I? <gasps> oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten that you had gotten lost. Sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Are we gonna fight again? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well this time, I have more HP. Should we do the same thing as before? Let's see, can we do any new acts? No, flirt and insult. Let's start flirting. Too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay, so that's not the way to go. Let's date later after I capture you. Alright. I forgot the key to jump. Okay, so we're back on the date thing. Try holding the up button to jump. Oh, thank you!
Oh, you're totally thinking about that date thing. This one a lot faster than before. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. This time I am not going to lose. Oh no. better at this. Alright, taking some damage, but still, still doing pretty good. So many stages to this fight, it's insane. Ah, oh, dang it. I should heal soon. Next time I take damage, I'll heal. Now I should heal. Oh, here comes the bone attack. Eat the cinnamon bunny. Wait, cinnamon bunny? That's what the cinnamon bun is? It's a cinnamon bunny? I, I don't know if that's really cool or really sad that I just ate like a cinnamon bunny. It, it wasn't a live cinnamon bunny, was it? Like an actual bunny that just happened to have cinnamon on it? the bone attack still. Whoa. My special attack. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> We're back to this. Little doggy. Ready for a regular attack. Jesus. Alright, this is the one I failed on before, right? I might fail again. can't defeat me. <sighs> He's getting tired. Yeah, so I really, I felt like I lost before, like right before the end, and I think I did. I think I lost like halfway through the last attack. <sighs> yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Is he trying to tell me something?
Nyo hu hu. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Eh, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I, I guess I can make an allowance for you? Wow, we we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except, ex, 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 what? Except someone with powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass... through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr... Dreamer? Dreamer. Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the? <laughs> Did he just float in the air? Um... Eh, let's go back and have that date. Don't think I'm ever going to be closer to their house than right now. Yo! So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Uh, where are we going, Papyrus? My house! <laughs> Whoa, what's going on under that door on the top right? Is that like fluid leaking through? Or gas? Or... I'm gonna have to go investigate. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> oh, this is a different room. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Uh, is the joke that it's not actually a book? Or does it actually have jokes inside? 
Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. I knew it. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <laughs> okay, thanks. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with the sugary non-egg substance. Uh, that doesn't sound like a quiche. Quiche kind of needs eggs, and it's savory, not sweet. How absurd. Indeed. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Oh, that's... that's what that is. For a second I thought this was like a closet or a pantry or something. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Is the dog out here? Can I go find the dog? Is the dog maybe in here? No, it's still locked. I don't think I'll find the dog unless maybe it went to the bar. Maybe. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked. Oh. Well, I don't know what Sans is doing in there, but uh, let's go into your room, shall we? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Sure. Oh my god. Papyrus, are you like 12 years old? You have a race car bed. You have a race car bed and a rug with flames on it. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yeah, that was actually today. That was like 10 minutes ago. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hmm. Hmm. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa? Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Uh, you don't have any hair. 
sun on my skin. Uh, you don't have any skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? <laughs> of course. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh. That's it? <laughs> I was expecting something more. So, um... If you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Begin the date? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Dating start. What? What is this? Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Hmm? <laughs> wow, we, I feel so informed. I like in the bottom left how it just says egg. And also I have, like, radar on the top right that seems to be detecting a dog in our vicinity. It must be the bone dog, always coming for Papyrus's bones. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on date. Let me say that again. Ask them on a date. There we go. English. <clears throat> Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. R really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Uh... Y yes? Uh, no. The truth is no. I certainly didn't want to date him to begin with. No. <laughs> Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days? Was your interest in me... predestined? N no, your dating power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't think. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. Well, of course you've never been beaten at dating. You've never dated before. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold, Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? Uh... It's... Cool. You're a cool dude. I can tell because your shirt says cool dude. I love it. No. A genuine compliment. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore... What you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Hmm. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Your secret, huh? 
All right, well, your secret's not in your shoes. What about your pants? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. <laughs> no, I must resist. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. <laughs> but who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Wait, so it used to just say dude? Who'd wear a shirt? Who would make a shirt that just says dude? Dude. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Uh, thanks? What's in it? Do you know what this is? Uh... I'm looking at the pixels. I don't know what the pixels mean. Is that a plate of spaghetti? That's a plate of spaghetti, isn't it? Yeah, I know what that is. Spaghetti. Yep, of course. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an art artisan's work. Silken spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I wonder what it tastes like. Let's eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. <laughs> I guess it's not good. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. No. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. R romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Nyehehehehe. <laughs>
Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, my God, I'm so sad that he doesn't love me. What a horrible, horrible heartbreak. God, what a relief. Don't suppose I can talk to Sans now? Nope. Guess it's time to go to the king. Ooh, I should probably save. Well, there's probably a save point over here, right? Right. If I die, I'm going to lose a lot of progress. I'm going to go save just in case. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I saved the game and I also bought a bicycle. Look at all those worms. Inching along. Hey, it's Sans. And there's a save point up here. So I guess I didn't have to go back. Ah, well. And you, you were back at the Christmas tree. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Who's her? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard, over and over. Hmm. Neat, huh? That sounds... annoying. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Oh god, no. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Ooh. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hey, you Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Really? Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'll take a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. Wait a minute, is that an iceberg? Is it gonna be an iceberg? So, what do you think? Of my brother? Uh... I can tell him the truth, right? I can tell him the truth. He's not cool. Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? My brother's a real star. Really? God, even Sans is deluded. Alright. He's the person who pushed me to get this sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes... It's nice to have someone call you out on being lazy. Even though nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> well, appreciates being called lazy, but doesn't actually recognize that he is completely, utterly, 
amazingly lazy. It's gonna be an iceberg, isn't it? Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Actually, that doesn't look like an iceberg. That actually looks like a burger. Uh, sure. Bone appetite. <laughs> you tip the ketchup. The cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Ah, should have figured that from Sans. But you know what? The truth is, I really like ketchup. Like, like seriously, I, I really like ketchup. I don't know how many people do this, but when I make macaroni and cheese, I drench it in ketchup. When I make grilled cheese, I pour ketchup all over the top. I love ketchup. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Is that because you ate, like, ten minutes ago? <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Oh, that he does. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Oh, the head of the Royal Guard is a she. That must That's probably what the, the kid was talking about. When he said, isn't she so cool? And aren't you coming to see her? Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? <gasps> Things just got real serious. Some sort of a flowy flower? A flower flowy? Flowy wowy flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Hmm. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Uh... Sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way... Uh, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Can I actually eat the burger? We just ordered two burgers, and <laughs> one got drenched in ketchup, and then the other's just completely uneaten. Alright, bye! Huh. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.